All right, and like all in television games, kind of starts off on this green screen, shows you uh, what the name of the game is, year and everything. I shouldn't say all games. I, I know there's a couple that don't actually start off like this. So anyway, Snafu, this was one that was uh, pointed out in the comments on my, the part one video by Eric, Mighty Q Dog, and he mentioned Snafu is a fun game. And I'm like, you know what? It is a fun game, actually. So we'll do game one. You can see how many rounds we go. We'll just go three rounds. And off we go. And a lot of people might recognize this game already. A uh, pretty popular game called Snake. You can get on most mobile devices and whatnot. I am the red one, by the way. And, uh, yeah, however you place in the rankings is how many points you get. I'm going to try to cut this guy off here. Well, that's going to be pretty even. As you can see, red and blue both have uh, two points. Green and yellow is zero. The three on the left-hand side is how many rounds that are left. I'm going to win right here. So three points to me, two to blue, still red. The music doesn't come in until, uh, uh-oh, I can do this, there we go. Music doesn't come in until there's only uh, two snakes left. Yellow screwing himself over there, just have to last longer than blue again. It's going to be tricky, folks. I think we got it. So yeah, this is a lot of fun with another person, and I like having a, a four-player option to uh, make some games go by pretty quick. So that was round two. I'm ahead six to four on blue. So one more round here. I'll show you some other uh, stages you can do, too, because it's more than just what you see now. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this unless I horribly screw up, which happens quite a bit because again you're kind of playing on that disc here on the oh ooh I thought that was me ooh that was close so yeah snafu here we'll re hit restart we'll do game ten for example we'll just do two rounds of that. As you can see here, still four uh, players, but now there's some obstacles in the way. What did I do? Well, blue is probably going to win that, so I'll just do that here real quick. Yeah, and the next round, all the obstacles are kind of moved around there a little bit. So I'll show uh, one more game here and snafu. I wonder how far it goes up. Let's do 20. Judging from that, that's a no. 15. Yep. One round of that. It's just kind of a one versus one. Lots of uh, obstacles in the way here. But now you can go sideways. So this is one that you definitely want uh, the instruction manual over to see what kind of games do uh, or what uh, rounds can play what kind of games. So that's going to be, I kind of like going sideways. So it's fun to experiment with, with that. That was Snafu. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here we have everyone's favorite pastime, golf, 1979. Now, I know this is not uh, by any means the most exciting uh, in television game or anything to watch. But when you compare it to uh, the infamous Atari Golf, which if you played that, you kind of know how bad it is. This one's actually, quote, advanced, unquote, compared to it. Here we have, I'm going to point out on the screen here, your club here. This is the ball. Here's the hole, obviously. And you, it's very interesting as you can choose uh, with the, uh, the keypad here in the controller kind of what uh, clubs you want. Here I have a, like a 5-iron, 3-iron wedge putter if you want to putt right off the tee hey, go ahead we're going to select the driver and you see my little white line it's moving around the ball here on the left side of the screen can then kind of aim a little bit i'm going to aim straight ahead i'm going to hit the enter button 
Oh, maybe you don't have to hit enter button. But anyway, I'm going to hit one of the side buttons here on the controller. I swing. Pretty decent shot. And there we go. So I'm going to aim it. You know, if I want to go downward, I'd go like that. Or go back toward the T, I would go like that. I'm going to aim this way here. Whoop. Here's the tricky part. And I don't want my driver this time, but I think I'll take... I uh, still want to hit it kind of hard, so I think I'll take the 5 iron. Swing. Hit the button again. I went up a little bit on that. Not quite in the bunker, but... So I am a little bit more down toward the hole. I probably just want like a little uh, a wedge here. You can hear me tap the buttons. Pretty close to the hole, just overshot it just a little bit. But we're on the green. It automatically gave my putter, gave me my putter. Ah, and here's kind of the disadvantage of these retro games. It's hard to kind of aim, line it up exactly. Oh, I went in and I got it in four. So I, I'm one. I actually do enjoy golf games. I know that's not going to be a a thing a lot of people will uh, agree with but I always enjoy having at least one golf game on every console just to kind of compare them. NES opens probably a, a great uh, one for old school games. Mario Golf I'm also a pretty big fan of actually as well as the Hot Shot series. I'm still going to do wood on that one but you kind of get the idea there. Obviously the blue parts are water and brown orange parts in the golf course are the bunkers so it actually, compared to the Atari one, is is superior. It's still not great, but once you get a whole hang of it a little bit, I think it's actually a worthy uh, worthy golf game for a retro console. So definitely one to check out if you're a, a golf fan or, or like some sports games for television, especially a lot of those retro games. They're very hit and miss. I think this one's a, a rare a rare hit. Here we have a blue screen, but uh, as you can see, it's a Parker Brothers game, Frogger, 1983. Look at that, Sega. That's pretty uh, pretty interesting. I thought I'd finish off with this one because a lot of us know what Frogger looks like. We probably played in the arcade. Uh, Frogger on the 26, Atari 2600 is pretty infamous. So I thought I'd show you kind of in comparison to some of those uh, back in the day here. One player, and we'll just start with the first level here. We'll hit enter. And as you can see, kind of close to the uh, Atari one. Maybe not quite as, I'll say good looking, because it's hard to compare the two, quite honestly. But it's it's a little bit of a downgrade. They still have the music there. I uh, went past through it at the very beginning, but they still have the little tune there. It doesn't sound quite as good as it did on the Atari. And it's a little bit trickier to play using the Intellivision disc here. I still prefer a, uh, a joystick, especially for this game. But it's pretty doable, and as you can see, there's not uh, not too bad of a difference here. So, oh dear, I'm going to have to... Ah, I wasn't getting in there in time. But there's the music, pretty similar to how it sounds on the Atari 2600. Fun stuff. So you kind of get the idea, so... There's the uh, kill animation there. So, hey everybody, thanks for watching uh, the Intellivision videos here. Again, part one in the description kind of show off the console itself as well as the Model 2. Uh, in this video, we just kind of took a look at what some games look like. Uh, yeah, thanks for everyone who commented on the previous video. Eric, Mighty Q Dog, go check out his channel. He does a, a great channel with his wife, just kind of talk about what's been up throughout the week and whatnot. But it's always entertaining, and he's a big game collector. Uh, and a huge Sega Master System fan. I gotta love them. So, everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you've done so. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, all.